Hi friends! Welcome back for my second video of Kosai. I don't usually post videos so close together, but this is not an actual project video. Today I am very, very, very excited to be announcing that I'm going to be starting my dream project. This is something I thought was not going to be possible for years if ever and I've gotten very lucky. My business that I've started recently is doing much better than I expected and so I've been able to kind of sock away a little bit of money and it's happening. Long before I was ever into cosplay, which I have been doing a lot of recently, I was very into historical costuming, which I still am just a little less as I've experimented with cosplay more. When I began historical costuming, by far my favorite were always the historical character mashups. For example, a Renaissance Captain America, or a historically accurate Victorian Princess Peach, or Regency Rey from Star Wars. There are so many really cool examples of this concept, and this just has always been so interesting and fun to me. So I am so, so excited that I'm going to be starting mine, which is my historical Hawkeye. Hawkeye has always been my favorite Avenger, specifically Clint Barton, but I do love Kate Bishop too, don't get me wrong. Well, hello. So I will be creating a Victorian Hawkeye. When I began historical costuming, I began with the Victorian era, so it is near and dear to my heart, specifically like mid-century-ish. As I was searching for inspiration, I came across this image of a gymnastics costume. Now, I think gymnastics costumes are very interesting and a really cool concept to begin with, but this one in specific caught my eye because at the bottom of the image, there is a bow and arrow. I do archery as a hobby and I thought to myself, well, how cool would it be to kind of recreate this and actually make some type of historical shooting? I don't know, I thought it would be neat. With that in mind, I started reading the description that came in the magazine. This was a page from Godie's Magazine and at the bottom of the page, it says the colors that this original costume were in, which I think were Maria Louise blue and crimson. And it just kind of struck me how similar these colors were to the original comic book Hawkeye costume. And then kind of made a little light bulb go off. Now, before any comic fans come for me, yes, I do know that sometimes in old comics, blue really was supposed to read as black, but because you couldn't get shading in black, they used blue instead. I get it. However, the Funko Pop is blue and pink, not black and pink. So that's what I'm going with. It's blue. It's blue. In my heart, it's blue. Ugh, there's cat hair everywhere. So this is going to be a very long-term project. I'm going to make other things in between and I do expect this to take quite a while, but I am so excited to start. I've been doing a ton of research. I will need to make pretty much everything from the whites out. I do have a chemise and drawers and I do have a petticoat that might work. I will probably need to make a second petticoat. Whether it's corded or not, I'm not entirely sure. I do need to do a bit more research on what would typically have been worn with a gymnastics costume and how much of that shape is just exaggeration for the fashion plate. I will need to make a new corset because my old one does not fit me anymore and there's 12 million Victorian corset videos on YouTube. I thought kind of with the sewing footage of that video, it'd be a really fun time to talk about the history of Victorian archery and specifically women's archery. So that's kind of my plan for that. This gymnastics costume, this image specifically, may be a little misleading. This may not have been what women would have worn typically for archery. They were probably just wearing nice dresses but I'm gonna run with it. I'm gonna have a ball with it. I will talk a little bit about that and what was expected of women in, in archery at the time in my history and research video. Then I will need to make what I've seen referred to as Turkish pants or pantaloons or bloomers, which have a really fascinating history that I can't wait to dive into. I've read a few articles from the time about it already. It is so fascinating. So those are gonna be very fun and interesting to make. Then I'll need to make the bodice with the waistband and the full skirt 
That's really the main part of the costume. I can't decide if I'm gonna keep the scalloped edges exactly as it is, or if I'm gonna try and incorporate the chevron shape that's his modern logo. So I'm not sure. If you have any opinions, please let me know. I'm all ears. I could talk about this project for ages. Then I'm also going to make a quiver, which I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with because apparently the more ostentatious and gaudy your quiver was, the more fashionable it was at the time. So that's gonna be a ton Ton of fun. And I think it'll be a really cool place to incorporate some design elements from the Fraction Run because the art that David Aha did for that is just incredible. And those are probably my favorite Hawkeye comics. Then I'm going to make a hat, which will need to be fashionable to the period, but I'm going to try and make look a little like his masky Hawkeye thingy. It's all about branding. And then this is a bit ambitious so I'm not sure I can't make any promises I think I'm going to try and make a bow in the same manner and with the same kind of materials that would have been found in the period I found this really fascinating PDF that was a book from the period talking all about different archery equipment and how archery should be done the proper way so I really want to dive into that I think that would be so much fun getting to shoot like a real Victorian bow in my real Victorian outfit. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell how excited I am about this project. I'm over the moon. I can't believe this is actually happening. What I'm kind of going for this is what I'm going to call historically plausible. The colors and the silhouette and the construction are all going to be things you could have found in the period, especially if you're keeping in mind that this was a circus raised vigilante superhero. But a lot of the materials I'm going to use will be things I've either thrifted or something that probably wouldn't have been found in the period. The image says this would have been wool flannel. I'm probably going to use a cotton flannel because while I have socked away some money for this, not quite that much. And this is really something that's just for me and just for fun. So I think this is going to be an absolute blast. I'm so excited and I will definitely keep you updated on my progress as I go. I don't know. I just thought I'd share because I, for me, find it a lot more likely that I'm actually going to make progress on a project if I've told people about it, if I'm kind of feeding that into that excitement or if I feel like I have a deadline. So I'm just throwing it out there. I'm starting this, I'm gonna get going, and then I actually will. I hope you enjoy. If you follow along, I will be posting big updates here, but I will also post smaller updates on Instagram or TikTok. And I just, I can't believe this is actually happening. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, friends. You just like being the center of attention, don't you? Yeah.